Hey guys, here for another video, and today is a little bit of a different video because, uh, unfortunately, as I said in my last video, in case you guys didn't watch it, OnlyFans has banned everything that has to do with my name, address, IP, whatever has to do with my name, and combination of that, uh, it's been banned. So I went to my bank and I, uh, you know, spoke with my broker and he moved some things around. So, uh, yeah, new card coming in, new bank account coming in, nothing. It will be extremely hard to, you know, we'll, we'll just say I'm safe with OnlyFans, but there is something I like to do for fun. And that is shit talk. Why? Because I'm an angry man. Oh yeah, shout out to my Hitler mustache, by the way. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Yeah, but I, I'm an angry man that just hates the world. Uh, I don't know. I just like seeing the world burn. I find that way more entertaining. I get it. Some people like stability. Some people like seeing the world be at peace. But I always say it's better to suffer with people than to have a happy-go-lucky life with people. What do I mean by that? It's like you get to see people's true colors, right? If you're in the army, if you're in a wrestling team, if you're in a football team, and you guys are doing training... You get to see how your teammates or co-workers or whatever, you know, relationship that you guys have with your team. If you guys are suffering together, you can kind of see how people react. And I always think that's a way more genuine uh, method of living compared to everything being perfect and everyone's so happy. I mean, that's not how the world is. So I just like to shit talk people. I mean, and I always say I'm racist to every race. I hate black girls. I hate, like, you know what I'm saying? I just hate every single race. I always say we're in the melting, America's the melting pot of the world. Reality, it's just a fucking shithole of every single ethnicity. We're all garbage. I'm a Mexican guy that has a Hitler mustache that hates black people and somehow has a Dark Temptation axe spray. <laughs> Riddle me that. <laughs> what type of racist am I? Uh, but like I said, I like to shit talk people. And on Instagram, I always save these posts of these girls uh, that I see on Instagram that seem like they're OnlyFans models, but they're not. And you're maybe wondering, like, well, why, Sam? For me, I find it very interesting, and you know, people always say this, right? Where Instagram is really like the number one dating app in the world. Um, why? Because you don't have to have an OnlyFans. If you look sexual, if you look provocative, if you look like a whore and move like a whore, even though you're not a whore, you're probably like a whore, right? It's like a, you act like a frog, you jump like a frog, then you're probably a fucking frog, uh, right? And I see this a lot. So with this specific girl named Dominique Kaleem, I first saw her when uh, she was on Tube stream way back ago before he got like, uh, in, you know, locked up in the psych ward. Uh, and I found it interesting that a whole bunch of people know her and they want to basically fuck the shit out of her. I'm like, that's interesting. She's pretty, but what does she do? Does she have an OnlyFans? What, what exactly is Dominique Colleen? And after doing some like very surface level research, I was like, damn, she's one of those whores that doesn't have an OnlyFans. And I've seen this a lot in Miami where like, um, there are, again, this is very weird. There are girls that are actually prostitutes, like get dicked down, uh, but they act like, a, they act very wifey. And then there are people that aren't prostitutes, right? They may work at a sandwich shop, but they move like a whore. Oh, it's not cheating if I don't get caught. That's exactly what happened to me in a couple situations when I was in Miami. So in this case, the way I see her, it's like, yeah, she's not a prostitute. She doesn't have an OnlyFans. She's not selling feet pics. But it wouldn't surprise me if she has some sugar daddy, some, you know, something like that. Just the lifestyle and how she poses herself seems like a whore. Hey, who knows? Maybe she isn't. But I'm just saying, like I said, looks like a frog, jumps like a frog probably is a frog so in this case looks like a whore moves like a whore you know i'm gonna label her as a whore so we're just gonna shit talk her a little bit look into a little bit into her background see what's good of her and i always find it entertaining kind of look at their instagram profiles because um uh, in this case uh she has god above all which i see many whores do that where they're like yeah yeah man G jesus yeah G jake man what or was it oh, ww ww jd dude what would jesus do jesus can jick man you jick like i'm just like holy shit like, you don't have to preach all this. And when if you do preach all that, shout out to you. That's great. But you better have a fucking Christian lifestyle. And when I look at her pictures, I don't really see that. I said her name is Dominique Colleen. She has 74K followers. Like I mentioned before in her bio, God above all, Turkish Latina, 22, no OnlyFans. Her mom must have been one hot motherfucker for a Turkish to fucking stick his dick into that. Uh, but I always see this. We're going to look at her story right here. Wow, read the whole thing, guys. Bring me the sacrifice. Of Again, she's reading a fucking Bible. There are a couple pictures I've seen in the past where she's just reading her Bible, and I'm like, that's, all right, that's that's great. Okay, maybe the next picture, she's promoting a church. Okay, no, she's not doing that. All right, let's see another picture. Okay, great, this, this is not really promoting Christianity, right? This is kind of sexual. This is something I've seen OnlyFans girls would post, to be honest. Maybe the next picture, okay. There are calories, all right, maybe, all right, more calorie stuff. Great, okay. And some other useless posts. Amen. God is great. Cool. Shout out to George Janko. George Janko really lives that life, right? He promotes Christianity. His content is Christianity. 
it's cool to promote it, but if your content doesn't align to what you're promoting, especially in her case, right? Let's look at her pictures, right? I see this. Great, legs for days, whore. Uh, and I love how she's flexing the purse though. Like, yep, yeah, legs for days. By the way, I'm a rich bitch, you can't afford this. Uh, let's look at the comments. My model, uh, beautiful, blah, blah, blah. Like it's just, again, zero personality in the post, right? Let's look at the next one. Habibti. Okay, cool. You still look like a whore. You know what? Let's comment on her. Girl, it's Ramadan. It's post Ramadan. Ramadan. And I would totally stone the fuck out of you. Hashtag. Hashtag. Flintstones. It's the Flintstones. All right. Yeah, like I mean, let's look at the let's look at the Easter sun again. Very basic post, zero personality. She seems like one of those girls when you dick her down, she just starfishes. Like I don't see anything too crazy about her. Great, I don't know you, but I'm feeling 22. She got a Valentine's great, but she doesn't post the guy that gave her the Valentine's. Like, again, these are whore tactics, right? It's rare that you see these girls ever post pictures with guys, and who knows? It could be that she makes a lot of money. I know her parents are rich. I know her mom's rich. Uh, but I just look at her background and she doesn't really have that like uh, I would say high salary position unless her mom is paying her a shit ton which it could be the case right um, let's look at her Twitter not too many things it's not too men who go to clubs every day and sleep around like their life depends on it should never ask where the good women are you don't deserve one you'll uh, yourself blah 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 you attract who you are I, I see good and i see god i see his presence the absence of god is holy e only evil only evil jesus um blah 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 again zero personality stuff so you know what let's see let's see she's giving me you know what christ is king she's not doing jick she's doing sick all right you know what let's let's hit her up let's say hi hello hello there would you like to go to church with me? I would love to get, again, this is the way she's promoting, like she's like, oh, God is kidding. Where are the good men? Let's act like a good guy. I would love to get to know you and take you out for brunch. Exclamation point. She's probably not gonna give me a chance like any other guy, but again, cool, she's promoting Christianity, but I decided to look a little bit into her background and uh, yeah, she's an executive administrative assistant at Healthcare Retroactive Audits. Now, here's the interesting thing, guys, right? Healthcare Retroactive Audits, guess what her mom does? Her mom is the CEO and founder of it. So from the looks of it, again, doing my background research, she's probably living off daddy's and mommy's money which is okay, I get it. Like if I'm a fucking mo mom or dad and I have my own company and my son is working under me, sure, he may be dumb as fuck. Sure, he may be just an administrative assistant, meaning that he probably just is printing out some papers. You know, maybe he writes down a little bit of schedules. Maybe he like looks at my calendar. Maybe he makes a couple phone calls. Yeah, sure, he might be a fucking retard, but I'm gonna pay him well because I love him. So that's kind of like the whole vibe that I'm getting because obviously she is a rich girl. Obviously, look at her lifestyle. If it wasn't her for her mom, I'm sure she'd probably have a sugar daddy or sugar mama. I don't know if she's a lesbian, but because uh, I don't see any, again, I don't see her with any guys. I would find that more concerning. Like if you look at like an Instagram like a profile, what is more concerning? Seeing a couple guys here and there, and sure you're traveling the world, or seeing not one guy at all. Like, who's taking these pictures, right? Who took that picture? Who took this picture? Who, like, you know what I'm saying? Especially the Valentine's one. This one. Oh, right here. Where is it? Right here again. Let's look at it again. This one right here screams, I'm a fucking whore. Like, who gave you that, right? Obviously, a girl didn't give you that. And maybe she did. Maybe Again, maybe she has a little bit of lesbian, but she is a Christian, so I highly doubt uh, she's on that lesbian lifestyle. So, yeah. Again, background research. I think her dad uh, is this guy right here. There's a Gokhan Callum, because I was looking at their whole family tree. Again, a simple Google will take you very far. Uh, and shout out to Gokhan, whoever the Gohan I don't know if this is like the the turkey version of Dragon Ball Z. He is dead, unfortunately. Rest in peace. But uh, as a father, like I'm glad. Sure, I'm glad my wife and daughter are doing well. But I would be one angry like this motherfucker if I if he somehow had some way to look at her Instagram profile. This motherfucker would come out of the fucking grave, the mud, six feet under. Like look at this shit. You're promoting Christianity? Like, let's look at a Christian post. Let's look at motherfucker. Fucking. 
Where are all the good men? Where are all the good women? They're all being whores like she is right here. Like, let's look at another post right here. It's all tired of being the good girl. She never wins. I mean, you're definitely not a good girl. I definitely get horror vibes from you. Um, what I get is, like, you're just trying to put, like, this grift, like, fucking grifting Christianity, which I see a lot of people do. Like, Sneeko is a perfect example of that. Um, I'll kill myself if my firstborn, firstborn isn't a boy. Seriously. God damn. I mean, shout out to that. She fucking hates women, too. But, yeah, she. I personally think she moves like a whore. If I was the dad, if I was Gokan, if Gokan, if I could speak to that motherfucker, I would screenshot all this and I would snitch that I would say but again she is 22 she is still a dumb bitch so it's okay she's still young she's living off daddy's and mommy's money she probably got a job very easily after college she's probably making good money she probably thinks it's very easy to make good money in reality it's not it kind of sucks that a lot of girls including her um just think that way I was talking to this girl in Miami she's like she thinks ten thousand dollars a month is normal I'm like are you crazy like I make it I have a pretty good job. I'm not making 10K. I make a pretty good amount. Like, I, I have enough to live. I have enough to pay 4K rent. We'll put it that way. But uh, it took me a while to start making good money. And she's 22. So she probably makes as much or even more than I do. It wouldn't surprise me. Like, if you're making 15K a month. Yeah, and you're 22. That is kind of insane. But overall, I don't think there's a... Yeah, let's seal the book, guys. Is she a whore or not? I always say horror reviews. Uh, that's kind of like the what I want to title all this. And to me... I don't know about you guys. I look at her profile. I look at this shit right here. Like, like, let's put. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna, we're gonna do this, guys. We're gonna, we're gonna save image. Blah, 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 blah. Put this right here. We're gonna put this right here. We're gonna open it. Just look at that. Gokan, I want to put you next to your whore daughter. All right here. Look at that. Ugh. Look at the. Th do you think that's a face of a happy dad? Good God. Like he's probably like, no, my son, no, my son, I, my daughter, I wish, I want to stone, I want to stone you, this is not good at all. Liba habibi habubu ababa liba aladdin. I'll show you the fucking world. But overall, is she a whore or not? I definitely think she's a whore. It kind of sucks that you see like a lot of these girls grifting Christianity, Muslim, whatever type of religion or whatever type of political uh, like side. I personally think all religion shit, all political sides are shit. We're all kind of, again, it's political, right? You're saying X, Y, Z things to cater to a certain audience. I definitely think there's a balance to everything. Like even if Democrat, Republican, there's good sides and bad to both. Christianity, Muslim, Judaism, there's good and bad sides to everything. I would say just treat others the way you want to be treated, regardless of political side, whatever religion, if you're a whore or not, that will take you very far. And uh, shout out to Gokhan. I hope he doesn't fucking, I was gonna say unalive himself. I hope he doesn't alive himself. I hope he doesn't do some Turkish magic, come back from the dead, beat the shit out of her daughter, and then he unalives her and himself uh, to kind of, you know, cancel this uh, whole Christianity thing that she's doing. But, yep, she is a whore, unfortunately. So, like always, guys, please leave a comment below for any videos, suggestions. Uh, I just have so many. Again, I, when I, I do so many things. It's just... One of the things I like to do on Instagram waste time is just look at these whores and just be like, are they actually whores? But then they try to promote themselves not being whores. So I'm like, you know what? Let's make a video that, you know, who knows? Maybe not, not many people will like this video. If they're a whore or not, they are cool. If they're not, um, shout out to them and hopefully they get wifed up. So thanks for watching this video. Please leave a comment below for any suggestions. Google form description. OnlyFans reviews will continue next week. Uh, new banking information. OnlyFans will not be able to stop me. The Black Plague is fucking back. And don't forget to sub, guys. Hit that like button. Hopefully we get 30k subs by end of this year. And if not, I will suck a dick. Later.